So I was taking a little bit more of a of a look in this whole situation with Caden Bales, um, if if he's really um eighteen years old or not, and um, and and the thing is like oh, that is right now the main thing on um the Snopes's website, and uh, you know if you guys don't know what Snopes is, Snopes is uh, is a website that is dedicated to finding the truth behind everything um that is you know like probably false within the giant media and it's a bit it's a major large source of information from the news like for instance uh snopes's uh definition is we are the internet's go-to source for discerning what is true and what is total nonsense before you scroll further a tip a few tips on how to i'll uh, just snopes so it shows you how, how there's snopes there are all different types of on um, news outlets everything that is shown up and the main thing right now is is Caden Bales 18 years old? So um, let's go into it a little bit more. So is Caden Bales 18 years old? After receiving financial support from a wide range of celebrities, like people like um, Hugh Jackman, um, there was a um, comedian as well um, who um, I believe suffered from dwarfism. Um, if you don't mind me checking out um, celebrities and Caden uh, Bale. Um, just to make sure that I can come up with that and like find out the real ce celebrities who do so. Um, you got Hugh Jackman. You got um Brad Williams, who is a U.S. comedian who um who understands, especially with stuff like that, and especially with um people like that. There is um also the guy who is um who plays is Negan from um from Walking Dead. So um I believe that is because I'm not really good with with um actors names uh jeffrey dean morgan jeffrey d morgan and um they all post it on their twitters or or like in regards to like you know response to what's happening to quaden hugh jackman jeffrey dean morgan and um and the comedian that um that helped out um um he ended up raising a gofundme to actually send the kid to uh well Di uh disneyland which is actually pretty cool to see and you know that's actually pretty nice to do but let's continue on from where we are at to to show what it is so the claim is 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 quite embarrassing uh, excuse me sorry I, I usually don't speak in these videos but i'm trying to do as much as i can all right the claim is quaden bales is an 18 year old man who lied about being a nine-year-old boy with dwarfism to scam the internet for money and that um this is literally false that's what the rating is to false and where it comes from so let's go ahead and read a little bit into this report here and i'm going to zoom it in for you guys so you guys can see and like right here you can show from the beginning right here so on february 21st 2020 news reports circulate about a nine-year-old boy with dwarfism named quaden males who has received emotional and financial financial support from a member of celebrities and long nine long uh, and online do-gooders after he was bullied at school for being ugly Comedian Brad Williams, just to make sure that's the name of the comedian that sent that set up the GoFundMe to send it to Disney um, Land, set up and it rose like he set up the the, the GoFundMe and it rose up to more than three hundred three hundred thousand dollars. But some netizens were suspicious of this feel good story, claimed that Quaden was actually eighteen years old and that he was scamming the internet for money. Um, proponents of this claim, however, offered little to terms to proof. In fact, the, the biggest piece of supporting evidence is the photograph of a 9-year-old standing next to the number 18. Um, other photographs supposedly showing that 9-year-old boy in more adult poses where others spread online. So, like, like, like you see, like, right here, there's, um, there's Quaden, like, 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 standing in, like, the whole, like, you know, in Gucci and all that stuff. And then, like, this was all the stuff, like, from the, um, from the Instagram post. And there was, like, an 18 right here. Alright, so, the thing is, it makes sense, like, you know... Just because somebody is standing in right next to an 18 number doesn't mean automatically they're 18. It could be for someone else who is turning 18, or it could be like you know he just turned nine and they're trying to add in one and one plus eight. You know, there's 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 all different types of circulation for that and you know speculation for that. And you know, with that, you know, it's like it's like if you're basing it on that and then you don't have any other proof otherwise and then you're just putting a family through this tragedy because of the fact that you know you're using their using their um you know like you're using things like their um i would say using like things like you know like their their, their issues with bullying as a way to get clout that's actually a big issue so let me let's, let's continue on with that so, it might come as a surprise, but standing next to a number doesn't automatically change your age to that number, which is true. 
in that same vein, wearing a shirt reading Gucci or standing next to an adult woman who woman are not activities exclusively reserved for 18 year olds um above display pictures are come to quaden's previous public instagram account the photograph of the 18 was one of several he posted after his friend garland's 18th birthday party in one paragraph a birthday message for garland not quaden is clearly visible so we can go ahead and continue with that it's also noted that this is not the first time that Quentin Bales has made the news. In 2015, he was in the media spotlight due to a previous bullying incident. Here's a video report from the Australian news um, station Stereo 10 featuring the four-year-old Quentin. So this was like four year, like like five years ago when he dealt with that. So he's been dealing with this before this whole situation. I guess it was it was in the media, but um at one point um I I, I like. Like, it's like it's like weird because like the mother did state that they kept quiet about this. So like like at one point it's like you know I will understand why they keep quiet about this because of the fact that you know a lot of people would do stuff like that for the internet, and a lot of people would try to get most of that clout from the internet off their story. Now that's a major thing, and I understand why you know they try to kept the kept it quiet. Now, while one may be able to argue that 9-year-old Quaden looks like he's 18, it's a bit more difficult to buy the argument that the 4-year-old is above is above displayed video is actually 13. Yeah, because like if you see the video, it actually seems like it like like the fun like how he functions at, like during that video. It's not of one who is 13 years old. It seems like one who is like, you know, like probably like 3 or 4. And, you know, still learning. So that if you take a look at the video, which I'm gonna put this actual um, fact check link in the co in the description, you can go ahead and take a look at that. Yuraka Bales, Quaden's mother, who has posted dozens of photos of him over the years to her social media accounts. In 2012, she shared a series of photographs, which I can show here, that showed her infant son on the beach. Bales confirmed on those photos that her that her son was going on 15 months old. If Quaden Bales was truly 18 years old in February 2020, that would make him about 11 in the 2012 photographs. But that certainly isn't the case. So, what it is now is just that, because I'm trying to get that, because if you see right here, this was the whole thing about, um, you know, him being an actor and all that. You know, all the media profiles, all the photos and everything. Now... I remember being young and um being like in the mill in like middle school like like wearing some cool clothes and stuff like that and like shining up some some money and like there were like five dollar ten dollar bills and like you know at one point that was like a big major thing especially during the time when I was in middle school and you know just because of that doesn't mean I'm twenty years old owning my own money you know um I can see that like. A lot of people have tried to get clout from that, even the idea that some people have made GoFundMe's under his name to obtain that money. So, really, the the idea that, you know, you know, somebody's taking uh, this kid's story where he has been bullied at a younger age than nine and have comes has come up with things like, oh, I want to kill myself at nine years old, and you're taking that as a clout to earn money, that's uh, that's kind of despicable. That is kind of weird, especially if you check this out. It is kind of weird that people are doing that. And the fact that nobody has come around with facts on that. Nobody has come up with the idea of like facts about like, oh, these are this is him being 18 years old. This is him being this. And this is him being like being that earning his own money. Like, you know, there are actors and there are like if he's listed as an actor or a a, a model, there are there are chil there are children models that model for things like you know even children's clothes for like things like JC Penney's and like major stores like there's major um outlets especially in um in Australia and England or in other outlets where other stores will hire like you know adult act adult um models uh teen models um f elderly models you know baby models children models to go ahead and even model clothing that is for a specific brand so that is a major thing. Um, my thing is now, like, I, I, I'm seeing that there's a major thing, that's why I went through this whole entire, um, this whole entire search, um, I kind of see it now, and, you know what, it, it's kind of weird, it's very weird that, that, you know, people go ahead and take a story that is 
very important like this and try to make clout over it like you know people made people made freaking go fund me to try to earn money so you earn money off of a child's like you know like suffering and that's messed up especially one who is dealing with with a with a sense of uh a type of dwarfism which you know he, he can't change you know he was born like that he was he, there was nothing there's nothing wrong with him you know and you're making money off of that and you're making money off of him being treated badly and you're making these gofundmes and you're adding the clout to it and you know what that's that's pretty sad to it um you know like it's very very sad to, to see things like that you know that people are taking advantage of this poor kid and his mother and literally trying to make clout and trying to earn money off of it and those people should be very ashamed of themselves and you know i i don't understand why people are going to go down to that road i don't understand why people are going to go ahead and lead up to that road but that is a major thing that you know you know that should be majorly understood this story is not just for Quaden, but it's for other people that have suffered just like Quaden, and for people who are just like Quaden, like people who are born with, with dwarfism, people who have been bullied, people who have thought about killing themselves because they have been bullied. And you know, that's the, the fact that people don't take this lightly, that want to make up stories about the kid and his mother, and want to just point out something. Because I even looked at one of the photos. One of the photos was of, of him in a hoodie holding a gun. That was so photoshopped that it wasn't even a joke like i work with photoshop and Krita. that that's that's that was so photoshopped that it was that it was poorly done and the fact that people did something like that is absolutely ridiculous so here's my thing about it um you know this kid suffered this kid's dealing with a lot you know leave the kid leave his mother alone leave leave his family alone you know it's it's a big thing where celebrities are trying to make make it make it that his story is known, especially people who are who are um you know professional soccer players, or like if you're from um another country country football, you know, because I because in Spanish it's football, but and they consider um professional football players, but you know people who reach out to him and try to make it like so you know. That they actually want want to tell his story, and people try to go ahead and help him from his suffering. Like like as as I said, like one one of the guys like right here, um, Brad Williams, I believe, I believe that was his name, Mr. Brad Williams. Um, I'm gonna go to it just in case, cause right here, um, uh, Br comedian Brad Williams, you know, sent up this GoFundMe. And the GoFundMe hit almost three hundred thousand dollars just to take him to Disneyland. You know that's 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 something that's that he didn't he didn't even have to do, but he made it his business to do so. You know, and the problem is the families didn't ask for it. He just gave it. He just gave it. So that's why Brad Williams has my respect. You know, you, you know, like like seriously, like like <laughs> I just don't understand why people go that far. To try to ruin a child's life, or try to try to change a child's own life, or mess up a child's life for money or clout, that's something I don't understand. But um, as I said, I still stand with Quaden. I still um, I still you know stand with the idea of like spreading his story out. You know, having people understand how far bullying is going and how it's not considered serious where it should be. Um, kids being his age wanting to kill themselves because of it and it should be serious. You know, that, that, that that's a serious situation that people should take serious, especially schools, where schools should be taking this a lot more serious as well. Um, I really, um... I really hope that, you know, things get better for Quaden and his family. I really hope that, um... So, like, I, I really don't report on these things, but these type of stories really are are important to me as a person who dealt with bullying. And, you know, from now on, this is going to be my last update on Quaden. Um, I'm going to continue on with the basic um, walkthroughs for video games, uh, game game stories and everything. Um, I'm, this is my last update for it, and, you know, I'm going to gonna do it another time. I'm going to do, like, you know, the rest of the stuff based on game topics. But um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Nicholas Morales, um, founder of the EHG community. And you guys have a good day. And as I said, um, I stand with Quaden.